Hello, Resident Evil 5 gamers. Today, we are going to finish up the Chinese New Year Tea event. We're also going to watch some competitive matches from a tournament that is currently going on. Um, it's like a winter tournament called IVT. I don't even really know what it stands for. So hopefully we're gonna get to check out some awesome games today. I already checked out a few of them on the 10 hour live stream and they seem pretty cool. So I'm looking forward to it. But first let's see what the last day of the uh, this event thing is. The last snack will be specially prepared for the troops pearl holder. Sugar egg puffs are golden and round, coated in a fine layer of powdered sugar, making them practically irresistible. Dude, I swear, this event never fails to make me hungry. Seeing how he's always busy with his dragon pearl and has such a boisterous and outgoing personality, these sugar egg puffs suit him down to the ground. The eggs, whoa! The ingredients for making sugar egg puffs are all cheap and readily available, making it a true street delicacy. We have lard, flour, and sugar all ready to go. We just need a few more eggs. Oh, well, I have the eggs for you. Let's uh, enter the antique shop. I see creatures back. Ew! Bon Bon! Oh my gosh. Bon 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 Bon! <laughs> why, why? He just says Bon Bon. That's so stupid. I heard you're busy researching taste knock, so, so I thought I'd come and see for myself. Bon 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 Bon! My favorite snacks are wet, fluffy, stomach hot, char siu bow! I know the Dragon Dance Troop is going to love them too! Bon Bon Bon! I may be a robot, but I still have my own two snack of choice! I hate you, Bon Bon. <laughs> oh, I'm so mean to him. Alright, creature. Oh, Lunar New Year is almost here! And from the looks on their faces, everyone in town is feeling the festive spirit! If I had any money to spare, I'd be out there with them, having fun in the plaza. You know, you can find all kinds of things being sold there on Lunar New Year's Eve. The place comes alive with merchants shouting and barging, or sorry, bargaining. There's nothing quite like it. That reminds me, I feel like I haven't seen the Trick Master in ages. The Trick Master, that must be Acker, I'm assuming. Alrighty. The ingredients for making sugar egg puffs are, yup, hey, here's your eggs, here have the egg moment, egg, egg moment, whoa, those look yummy! Sugar egg puff, also known as frosted egg ball or glazed egg ball, is a common street snack made from an egg based mixture. You just need to roll them into balls of dough, coat them in sugar, and then fry them. They belong to the fried snack category of tea snacks, along with ham sui gok and fried wonton. Tossed and turned in hot oil, these dough balls gradually expand, carrying the rich and fragrant aroma of the, of the delicate egg mixture through the air and to your nose. Break it apart from the middle and watch as the powdered sugar scatters, revealing the hollow core. The outer layer is crispy, while the interior is soft with a hint of sweetness intended to melt on the tip of the tongue and create a wonderful taste experience. The Dragon Pearl is especially fond of this snack. Yeah, that's what she said earlier. Uh, that's right. Every time the Dragon Dance Troop was about to leave Chinatown after their visit, the Dragon Pearl would come to the Grand Theater to stock up on sugar egg puffs. Just like stuff them in his pockets, what? That's how much he enjoyed this sweet treat. In the East, they are also known as Grade Grandpa. Can you guess what exactly the people there think they look like? Hmm, I don't know. Um, <laughs> not like I have many choices. Is it an old man with white hair and a happy smiling face? That's exactly right. Wow, you're so good at guessing. Well, with that, it seems our meal preparations have come to an end. The Grand Theater has undergone many changes in recent years. So, with my old friends now returning to Chinatown, I sincerely hope they can enjoy the taste of the tea house they know and love. Okay. That, that seems fun. Yay, Acrobat! Woo! That's neat. Alright, and here we got... Oh! Hey, Painter, what's up? Uh, just look at all these colored glass beads! Frogs, carp, crabs, they're all beautiful aquatic creatures! They were designed to fit into a person's palm for ease of throwing and catching. They do look kind of cute. The one on the top is scaring me a little bit though. Now for today's question, which of the Dragon Dan troops members are the are, are these juggling beads most likely belong to? The pearl, surely. 
since we've been talking about them. Correct. Although, uh, the Dragon Pearl they actually perform with it's, is larger. It's obvious who these items belong to. I hear that the Dragon Pearl is a young man with no formal training and a capricious personality. Why would the leader break his rules by taking in such an inexperienced novice? I couldn't tell you, buddy. I don't know. Uh, now you can try out these colorful glass beads for yourself. And don't forget to come find me whenever you need anything. Okay. Oh, a character trial card, I see. Yay! What just happened? <laughs> Wait, huh? What? What? What just happened? Oh, it's the ex- Oh! Oh, that's cool! Whoa! Hold on. Whee! Okay, I don't know what one that was. Um, Bro. Wait, so I just have infinite. Whoa! Hold on. <laughs> no, yo, Mike Gaming! Yo, this is, what this is what my acrobat action needs, bro. Yo, Mike Gaming! <laughs> oh, that's so funny! Yo, hold on now. <laughs> this is the greatest thing of all time, dude. Hold on. I, I was talking about my 10 hour stream yesterday. I needed to practice to see what I could jump over and what I couldn't jump over. This is perfect. Oh, this is perfect for my training, bro. Hold on. <laughs> I guess I can't jump over. Well, maybe hold on. If I. Hold on. Okay, I can jump. Okay, I just have to get it just right. I know I can jump over this. Hold on. Yeah, yo, look at that distance, bro. Where are all the walls? They removed all the walls. What the heck? Hold on now. Where's the dungeon? Let's escape from the dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this is actually so weird. This is like a practice mode, but like weird. It's so barren because I'm the only one here. Oh my gosh. Whee! Look at my ping, bro. Oh my gosh. This is the best ping I've ever had. <laughs> Dude, I could literally do this all day. I'm not even joking. This is so fun. Mike Gaming! Ooh, that's kind of cool. Okay, I shouldn't be able to jump over this, right? Hold on. No, not even close. <laughs> definitely jump over these. Yeah. Can I jump over the tables? I can! Yo! Mike Gaming! Whoa! I can jump over so many different things! Oh, I can surely jump over this, yeah? Oh, the time save! That's actually a really good spot to ball, probably. I could ball here. Yo, we are balling today, dude! We are balling! <laughs> oh, this is so fun. It doesn't look like I can jump over this, unfortunately. This would be a stupidly good spot to ball from. Oh, I need to see something. Can I, like... How far can I? Yo, I can, yo! Yo, I'm learning so much right now. Hold on now. Jump over that. I think I, I think I can jump over this, right? Yeah, so Mike's not trapped in that if he has a ball. Bro, I can jump over so much. What about right here, huh? What about right, right, right here? Oh, unfortunate. Nope, not right there, it looks like. I can jump over that though. Dude, it's like, it's, it's so weird to like see what I can and can't jump over. What if I like ran right here and then Oh, baby, Mike Gaming. Oh, you can see the little icons on the bombs changing, too. Dude, I'm spending way too much time with this. <laughs> what if I just did this? <laughs> We're balling! Woo! We're balling! Yeah! Mike Gaming! <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. This is amazing. This is actually amazing. <laughs> Dude, I'm having way too much fun doing this. It's not even funny. Dude, he even has different voice lines for different bombs he drops. I only know that because I just keep spamming them. <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna miss this. I'm actually gonna miss this, dude, I swear. I am genuinely gonna miss this. <laughs> I'm having so much fun just being stupid. All right, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. I've, I've, thrown, I've thrown enough bombs. Looks like I can try them out at any time though. That is pretty cool. Oh, that was so much fun. Oh, you get an Acrobat trial card. That's cool. Although it doesn't matter because I already have Acrobat. Oh, okay, gotcha. So that that's the Acrobat thingy if you wanna just try it out again. And then I'm pretty, you just say, happy new Lunar New Year. Okay. Yeah, so that I believe is the, uh, f the end of this event, the pre-Chinese New Year tea event. So yeah, that was fun. Now, let's take a look at some competitive matches. On to the first match, because I skipped past the opportunity matches as always. We've got Dream Witch going up against Acrobat, Barmaid, Wildling, and Antiquarian. Uh, pretty hype characters, I gotta say. Acrobat, Wildling, Antiquarian are pretty funny. Uh, I guess Acrobat, Antiquarian, 
pretty fitting for the uh, the Chinese New Year uh, type skins. If only we had a Gamekeeper, bro. But I don't think I've ever seen Gamekeeper played in rank like ever, so that's unfortunate. Also, the Barmaid spawned really close to the, uh, the Dream Witch. I guess they really want her to take the first chase, which is honestly not too bad because you're going to want to like leech the Barmaid, get a hit on her, um, and then she can just drink and run away. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, they're actually already starting up all the Cyphers, which is really nice. And she did not get a... No, she got a leech off on the Barmaid, but she was just to go after the Antiquarian instead for some reason. I guess she doesn't want to chase the Barmaid first because she knows that she can just tank the hits. Um, at least for now. She's still forcing Barmaid off the Cypher here and there with the leech. And... Yep. Break that pallet. On ben my main body. I don't know I don't know who her target is. Okay, I guess she's going onto the Barmaid now. I guess she was just trying to force the Antiquarian off the, the middle Cypher. That way, um, she wouldn't be really close to potentially harass the uh, the barmaid here. Uh, we are seeing insolence for some reason. I actually don't know what Dream Witch is. Uh, I don't know what she gets after like uh, after presence. All I know is that she just like has things to wear. All she does like has the followers and whatnot. I don't really know what she gets from presence. Uh, but she does indeed have blink, so no patroller at all. Barmaid did in fact use the speed drink, and it doesn't really matter because she goes down to the blink. So. That was a pretty fast down, but still, Insolence is just kind of weird if you ask me. Most uh, most Dream Witches do indeed run that Detention Trump card build, so I don't know what this Dream Witch is going to do with that Insolence, especially since it didn't really seem like she needed it. Like, she kind of just got the Barmaid down pretty quick. Uh, I don't know. The Wildling is indeed coming on in the area, the only one with Tide. They have finished a single Cypher now. Yep, presence farming, almost at full presence. And yep, now is at full presence, gets the rescue. And Barmaid cannot, um, she cannot heal. She has to mix. Actually, this Barmaid is going to get farmed. She's going to get farmed off the tide, has nothing. Actually, I don't think, can she mix while in tide? I don't think that she can. I actually don't know, but I'm pretty sure that she can't. Uh, Leech is the Barmaid, actually. For some reason, I thought she, uh, le oh no, she did leech the Wildling, my bad. Uh, yeah, so two, two leeches on the field. Uh, and Barmaid is most likely just gonna get sold off here because she has to mix. And yeah, she actually didn't really do too much. Pretty unfortunate for uh, Demi here. Uh, no support from the Antiquarian at all. Yeah, I think this is it. Oh, we do see... No, we do see the Antiquarian is somewhere nearby. But yeah, not close enough. She's probably gonna take the next rescue. And the Cyphers, two are done. Two are eh, over halfway done. This is looking like maybe a 3k it depends there's two leeches on the field though oh hold on gets the rescue gets the antiquarian uh support only one person is decoding though that's the issue okay another disarm good work keeping this barmaid alive as long as possible but blink is up very soon maybe threaten to blink there a little bit if she can if she can somehow like it's not gonna be possible but if she can somehow mix um if she can somehow mix thing is what while, while barmaid's injured her mixing takes longer i believe it takes like five whole seconds of standing still uh, so I don't think she's gonna get this mix off here, especially with Blink being up. Yeah, she's just gonna go down. Antiquarian is still nearby, so she has um, some potential to harass. But oh, gets the Blink, use the Blink just to force the Antiquarian away, and now she can no longer harass. Yep, and that is a dead barmaid. Three ciphers are done. One's being worked. On. Actually, two are being worked on right now. Uh, they could they could tie this. They could tie this. Hold on. The, the rest of the team still has their resources. Acrobat will have four bombs. Wildling can just get on board. He just hops on board now. Yep, he just hops on board. They probably have to open up a new cipher. Hop on board. Yep, there we go. Boop. That's one hit. And she does have... She could have just blinked. She could have just blinked him off the board and then immediately got him down. But I guess she's going to like want to wait a little bit longer. Maybe just change targets because she knows that the Wildling has bad decoding. She knows that he's on board. Still is on board. Yep, he gets off board now. Yeah, opted to change targets because she knew they'd probably be healing up. Antiquarian is here. And sees that the main body's nearby. Does she disarm? Yep, disarm one, disarm two. All right. 11 seconds not being able to do anything. Still chasing the wildling here, though. Got a palace on. Here's the blink. And yep, that's a dead wildling. No leeches on the field, though. She can set up another leech, but is probably just going to opt to uh, opt to go after the wildling. This is actually looking like a tie now. This is looking like a tie because... All we have to do is Acrobat starts uh, starts the uh, continues the uh, 
the the factory cipher, and then Antiquarian comes in for the rescue, or vice versa. And then this should just be a tie. Oh, hold on now. Wait, she's pressure she's pressuring the cipher though. She is pressuring the cipher. This is Dream Witch. Okay, yeah, this is now this yeah, this is this is where Dream Witch starts uh starts looking really, really good, is when uh, she can pressure both the chair and the cipher. Put that wildling in there. Does she just disarm two times and rescue for free, or she has no trait? No, let's see. Trying to hit her. Flywheels into her for some reason? That was a little weird. Uh, opting to go after the Antiquarian, actually. Um, well, no more staff. The Antiquarian no longer has any more staff. And good good uh, flywheel from the Acrobat. Unfortunately, they're all damaged, and there's not really much that they can do. Yeah, there's not much that they can do right now. She's probably just going to either probably pressure down the Cypher or going to chase the Antiquarian. It's really dangerous for them to be working on that Cypher, though. Yeah, because she's literally just guarding it. Yeah, hold on now. What happens here? I thought this was a tie. Oh, but Boar, hold on now. The two, the two, dude, there's three, there's three uh, followers on the field. And this Dream Witch is doing a great job of uh, managing them all. They have opened up a new Cypher. So she's going to have to uh, start pressuring down another Cypher here. They don't, they don't really have any opportunities to just kind of stall and reset. They kind of just have to go into really good kiting areas and play it safe. Maybe start de-leeching here a little bit. It looks like that's what they're doing. Yep, okay. The uh, the Antiquarian did indeed de-leech. Um, and unfortunately, I don't think... Oh, the Wildling de-leeched as well. Hold on now. Wait, this is actually looking really good. They've all de-leeched. She only has her main body. Acrobat is here, but he has so many resources. So many resources. He has been leeched. Um, is Blink up? He's waiting, he's waiting, he's waiting. And... Oh, slows her down. No, no, that was a slow bomb. Blocks off the window, and down goes Acrobat. Good work, good work. But yeah, they're healing. They they, she, they hit off the Wildling, and then she's gonna go to the Cypher. She's probably gonna, uh, Antiquarian's probably gonna go to the Factory Cypher because it's an 81. All right, they can still tie this. They can still tie this. Oh no, she's heading back to the Factory Cypher. Nope. Hold on, she's too smart for that though. She's too smart for that. That was really smart. That was really good management of everything. Yeah, now Antiquarian's being forced off that Cypher. Back on the Cypher. This is just classic Dream Witch gameplay, dude. Classic Dream Witch gameplay. And there's another Leech. Here we go. Wildling takes the hit. Oh, for a second, I thought he didn't get the rescue. Here's the boar. Oh, no! Doesn't get on boar! He didn't get on boar in time. Oh, Pumbaa. Oh, Pumbaa. This is, this is probably a 4K now. Hold on. This is this is looking really hard because the thing is now there's there's leeches up on the field again. Acrobat, the only thing is Acrobat does still have some resources, but yeah, it, it all come it all comes down to uh, what Acrobat does right here. The the cipher is not yet ready. She has a leech. Oh my gosh, can she do it? Can they do this? Can they do this? Can they do this? Fire bombs away? No, they can't. He can't rescue in time. He can't rescue in time. Oh no, it wasn't ready yet. And blink down to the Antiquarian so they can't prime the Cypher. This is a 4K. Oh my gosh, this is a 4K. I thought it was gonna be a tie, but she pressured down the Cypher so well. Oh, that was actually really smart. That was really smart. He even used the uh, slow down interaction bomb so the the double the double uh, vaulting would be so slow. But of course it is Dream Witch, so you know, she can, she can have, uh, she can micromanage things while she does the vaulting and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, this this should just be a 4K. She's confident that since the Antiquarian um, still has more chair time, actually that's her first chair, and then yep. Uh, yeah, what can Acro, he has flywheel, 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 beautiful flywheel. But yeah, it's just not enough. It's just not enough. That was, that was really good, uh, really, really good uh, follower management from the Dream Witch though, knowing when to do what. Pressuring down the ciphers? That is some good Dream Witch gameplay. On to the next match. We get to watch some Clerk. It's been a minute since I've seen Clerk. Uh, going up against Cheerleader, Antiquarian, Psychologist, and First Officer. I can already tell you this is going to be a very interesting game. And not only because we have Clerk here. Clerk is very interesting because when she kind of first came out, I was watching some tournaments back when she kind of was like, you know, kind of new. And people consider her S tier, right? They, they thought she was S tier. And now she's kind of fallen off, which is kind of the case for a lot of new hunters. They come out, 
and then people are like, oh, they're so good, they're S tier, and then they just kind of slowly become TIE Hunters. <laughs> that, that's kind of where, I shouldn't say that's where Nightwatch is at the moment, because he's still stronger than your average TIE Hunter, but still, it's, uh, it's just the counterplay and then the adjustments to the characters and whatnot. It can, uh, it can definitely start stockpiling. Anyway, I believe Clerk got a window recording there. Um, she's gonna try and find who exactly? I don't really know what she's looking here for. Um, the big thing is uh, that I'm curious about from the survivor side though, is we have Antiquarian who can harass as well as uh, Lily who can support Antiquarian um, by reducing her cooldowns. It's not quite enough because Lily only reduces cooldowns by 20%. As opposed to uh, Antiquarian's 25 or 25 second. Did I say 25 percent? I meant. Ooh, double stun! Wow. Yeah, sorry. Lily reduces cooldowns by 20 seconds, and uh, the thing is, Antiquarian, she um, she has 25 second cooldowns, and actually is pretty much using up all the flute here. Not really. Oh, drops the. That was weird. Dro dro <laughs> Flywheels drops the pallet on the wrong side, and then just takes a hit. Um, and, and like, misses miss the flywheel, so... Yeah, a bit weird. And yep, blink downs the Antiquarian First Officer cannot indeed get that body block. Almost, was almost there. But that was, um, that was a pretty fast down, all things considered. And the thing is, Antiquarian barely has any of the flute left. Uh, I thought, I was thought it was gonna be, uh, you know, pretty excited to see some Antiquarian harassment, but oh. Oh, now she has a pallet break recording, that was smart. That was smart, trading trading in her uh, Antiquarian's recording for the pallet drop so that she can have a pallet break recording now. Interesting stuff. Uh, one Cypher has been complete, but now she's uh, kind of locking off the Cypher progress a little bit here. Gets a hit on the first officer. There's the Tide Turner. And yep, Antiquarian has barely any flute left. Has enough for one more flip. Yep, good work, good work. But that's all she does. She drop pallet, nope. Oh, doesn't get the Terror Talk, but yep. Pallet break recording and yep, there we go. Yeah. That's that's a bit unfortunate uh, for the Antiquarian. She's just gonna go down. And nobody else has Tide. So they honestly might just sell here. Uh, but Clerk, the thing is, Clerk can just keep forcing people off the Cypher. So while while they, oh, ooh, hold on. The Psychologist Support. Okay, so all the teammates are back, uh, back up healing, or, or back up to full health. And they're most likely, they're not selling, really? Antiquarian has no rebound kite potential though. Um, yeah, this is a little weird. Clerk swinging, 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 gets a hit. There we go. Um, yeah, but she can still, oh, but the pallet's done though. Hold on. Clerk is pretty easy to pallet stun. Uh, has a recording to block it. Takes first officer down. Okay. Does she still go after, yep. No, opting to just accept the first officer and share him instead. Yeah, because the thing is, uh, the Cyphers are, I shouldn't say they're behind, they've all been worked on. Uh, actually, hold on, this is not a great spot for the Clerk. She's kind of just getting Cypher rushed. Um, I mean, they are spread out, but now Antiquarian can just run away and heal up. Yeah. She knows where Antiquarian is, but... Lily does. Lily has no reason to rescue. Why is she rescuing so early? I actually don't know why Lily's here this early. Um... That's kind of weird. Uh, I feel like Lily could have rescued way later, right? Am I stupid? Window recording and flywheels though, hold on. But hits through the window. Okay, I have no idea why Lily rescued that early. She could have waited another whole 10 seconds. They should have, she should have just waited, right? I mean, it may be, maybe another five seconds. Cause first officer has such a long initial chair time. I don't understand. And then it, it, she just keeps trading. She just keeps trading. Psychologist heals up uh, the first officer. Um, psychology. Yeah, psychology. Two whistles, dude. Oh, I should. I should play my little whistle. Um, for psychologist whistle. <gasps> there we go. That's all you're getting. <laughs> Unless she does it a third time for some reason. Oh, here's first officer. Yep. Okay. The trades. The trades are coming out. I swear. Blink downs the cheerleader though. Um, and now nobody can safely rescue unless the psychologist wants to game end herself. Uh, they could do that. That is an option. Um, and clerk does indeed have confined space and not teleport, so she can, like, you know, trade stop teleport to go to psychology. Oh, they are doing that! Hold on! <laughs> Three whistles from the psychologist! <laughs> she actually game it herself so that they could just keep getting another rescue. Oh, that's so funny. But the thing is, now she's not decoding, and she heals slowly, too. She's gonna heal so much slower. 
Uh, cause every time the psychologist used the whistle, I believe her healing speed is decreased by 10%. And since she used it three times, she's not gonna get back up anytime soon. Oh my gosh. Okay, pallet mind game. Uh, who died there? First officer? Yeah, that was first officer there. She did her, honestly, she just double beep beep and get that out of here. Yeah. Now the question is, does psychologist get back up and use the whistle again? Oh. Oh, she already knew the psychologist. Can she self heal in time? Oh no. Her self healing kind of slow. No, she can't. She can't self heal in time. Oh, she can. Never mind. She can just barely self heal in time. Oh my gosh. Dude, the the, cha the changing of the target so much is okay because like as long as there's somebody on chair, you're gonna keep forcing somebody in. I feel like they should have just sold. But I don't know. I mean, they're opting to heal up now. Yeah, they're they're gonna sell the first officer, but clerk knows that. No? Oh, she doesn't want backdoor rescue. Yeah, she's got she gotta be a little careful because she does. Yeah, she doesn't want backdoor rescue. But now she knows it's like on the cipher, so they can go after them. Yeah, you, you can go after them because uh, yep. She just didn't want the backdoor rescue, and they've... Oh, Psych was working on a new Cypher? What? No, she's not. Okay. Or no, she was. Alright, I, I don't even know what happens here. So, Clerk can start locking off uh, the Cyphers really, really well. Um, but they need two more. And the thing is, Clerk can also pop. They're all at half health. Antiquarian only has, um... Only, ha only has a Perfume and Flywheel. Which is... Which is something. You know, it is something. She has a window recording now. Alright. Uses the perfume a little early, honestly. Um, is it gonna perfume back? No, no. Okay, waited for it. I don't know why she perfumed there. I guess they're. Oh, what the? Did you see that movement? What the heck? So awkward. Oh, it's D. Oh, yeah, she dropped it down. Fly wheels, beautiful. But palette, 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 mind game, palette, mind game. She has blink. She has blink. Does she use it? Nope. Palette, mind game. Go through it. You're done. Yup. You're done, so She needed a palette stun there, dude. She needed to get the palette stun there. All right, they have two ciphers that they need to work on. It's stuck. Gonna share the antiquarian who is dead on chair. So this is a uh, this is looking like a four escape. Hold on now, the clerk is cooking today. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is just four escape now. When there whenever there's two people left against clerk, it's pretty much guaranteed that it's a four escape, right? Because all she can all she has to do is chase somebody. This is a top level, by the way. I, I can't do this, but she can just chase somebody and constantly lock off the other things. Um, with her recordings and whatnot. She has no, uh, has no, has no, nothing to record left anymore, but they can just keep, they have two ciphers ready. But even then, once they pop, she has blink and she can just lock out the gate. So she just blink down somebody. Blink's here. Waiting, for, waits for a flywheel or something? No? Clerk? Are we good? Um,. Boop! There we go. Lily's gonna go back to the cipher. She doesn't chair. Yeah, she's gonna wait. Oh, wait, no, she knows Psych has no self heal. Oh no. Yeah, that's this is 100% it. The psychologist whistles came back to bite them. I really do think that either one, Lily should have waited a lot longer after the first officer's initial chair, or they maybe should have sold somebody. It might have just been better because their cipher progress was just too spread out and too far behind. Like it was good, but it was too spread out. And they couldn't finish any ciphers. And when you can't finish ciphers into clerk, that's really bad. So I actually have no idea what happens here. The thing is, it's so dangerous to be on a cipher right now because clerk can just come to the, uh, all right, grabs, grabs a window recording. She can just go straight to the cipher wherever you're at. I actually don't know what happens here. Lily has like resources, but she's gonna have crows soon. Yeah, there's the crows. There's the crows. She had to she had to get on a cipher eventually. Yup. Taps on a cipher. But clerk knows where you are now. She's gonna get tinnitus here soon. She literally just waited for the crows. That's funny. I believe it's 80 seconds when you don't do anything for 80 seconds, that's when crows start appearing. Breaking line of sight, but now she sees you, yup. You may be Lily. You may be able to get distance really, really well. But you she Lily would have to kite for like two-ish minutes and be able to get the dungeon. Yeah, window recording speed, boop, boop. Nah, she doesn't have enough. Palette, palette mind game, palette mind game. Yup, flywheel and she's done. Yup, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Even then, it was only a matter of time until she got blinked back. Oh? No, you can share a little, you know Psych has no self-heal. Uh, the game is over. 
The game's over. Wait. Oh, she's checking dungeon. Is that what she's doing? I see. Yeah, she sees the dungeon is here. Um, but if you chair psychologist, Lily can get back up. Uh, okay. Wait. I thought the game was over, but Lily, it was Lily dead on chair. I don't remember. I don't think that she is. But yeah, I think it's Blink. Blink's a thing. So even if Lily has a small chance to make it to the dungeon, she has to transition. She has to transition now. She has to go transition now. If she wants any chance, she has to transition now. Clerk knows the dungeon is. All right. I think 40 seconds and Psychologist dies. And she has, I think, does she go for Psychologist to make sure she doesn't get on the dungeon? Thing is she has Blink though. Flywheel's up in 50 seconds. There actually is a chance. There actually is a chance for Lily now. All because Clerk didn't chair and was too nervous about the dungeon for a Psychologist. Yeah. Gonna pick up Psych? Oh, picks up Psych now. Um, has Psych seen the chair though? That's the question. If Psych hasn't seen the chair, that's gonna be dangerous because it's gonna be, I, I don't remember if she has or not. I can't really tell by the video quality. Yeah, okay, 60 seconds. 60 seconds, Lily has to survive. Actually, it's more like 70 seconds because once somebody dies on chair, it doesn't, the dungeon doesn't open up right away. When you leave the exit gate, it like opens up pretty much right away. But, um, well, you know, another option actually, instead of, well, maybe not. I will say another option that you could do if, you, if Lily was desperate was she could just go and rescue the psychologist. Which she might actually be, she's actually gonna do. She's opting to, she has swing recordings, look out. Okay, no, they opted to rescue the psychologist. They could pop here instead. Um, this cypher right here, no. Psych's going to the factory cypher, it's 10%. Okay, been recording, drops that. She has flywheel, flywheel, beautiful. Okay, um, no way they make this, right? Dude, What? what is this? Lily is clutching up. The factory, no, hold on, it's being decoded. Look out, look out, pallet mind game, pallet mind game. Pallet mind game, no, it's not enough. Oh, hold on, 93, 94, 95. They both have borrowed time. They both have borrowed time, it's primed. It's primed, it's primed. Swing, pop. Okay, what? Beep, beep. There's no way, right? There's no way. She's being recorded, she has nothing, Lily has nothing. Pallet, 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 be careful. She has blink, she has blink. Walks through and kills, yep. Just just straight up walks through. But now the psycho, <laughs> now, now we're back to this again. <laughs> Lily has no self heal. Clerk has detention. Oh, here we go again, dude. Here we go again. Oh my goodness. But this time it's, it's even scarier because of detention. But now no self heals on anybody. Like this is just the clerk's game, right? I really do like, I kind of want to see a one escape, but this is this is easily just the clerk's game. Ah, uh, she's getting yeah, she's getting all the look at she has three detention swings right now. So even if even if detention runs out, she'll have three swings and a blink, dude. She's she's she can just keep watching the gates and uh, wait till Psychotis comes for dungeon. Yep, there's crows, crows again. <laughs> But now there's no cypher to uh, to work on. She just has to deal with the crows. But the thing is, detention's still up. She has blink that this is just it. This is just it, dude. I think Lily's sitting on dungeon, so all she has to do is down psych here. Oh, swing number one, gets the hit, gets the hit with the swing. But she's going back. She's going back to the dungeon. What is this? Oh, because she, she, oh, I think I know why. I think I know why. She can't kill Psychologist. She has to chair Lily. Because the thing is, if she kills Psychologist, if she kills Psychologist, she just bleeds out and dies. Oh my gosh. No way. Oh no, hold on. She's baiting her in. She I just did that to move Lily away. Dude, what is this? Uh, what is this? This is actually like the craziest like bleed out freaking dungeon thing I've ever seen. Cause she knows like the psychologist is about to bleed out. I'm pretty sure. She's gonna open up the gate. Oh my gosh. Lily is just gonna keep crawling to the dungeon. She's she's trying to get, she's trying to either one, force Lily on the chair who is dead on chair 
Or two, kill the psychologist, which allows Lily to get to dungeon. Oh, <laughs> Lily could actually struggle free too. That's another option. She could struggle free. She is indeed gonna struggle free and has all her resources. Dude. I, I, she has blink too. Just use both, yeah, using up the resources. Yum, 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 crazy, crazy. All right, you got your distance. You have flywheel. Lost, still locking off the gate. Blink down to the cheerleader. No flywheel used. And now she just crawls back to the touch. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. This is so stupid. She still has one detention swing left. Ah. <sighs> What what happens here? What happens? Dude! I, I think she's trying to wait for Lily to bleed out. She can't kill psychologists or else Lily gets dungeon. She can't do it! What is this? Dude! She's literally waiting for Lily to die and while psychologists is... Do psychologists... Just, do they just both sit at the dungeon? I... What? Nah, she can't make it. She look 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 at this! She's actually like body block because Lily's about to bleed out. But then she can just hit psych. Dude. Dude, she hits psych and then yup. Then she picks up Lil oh yeah, then she picks up so there we go. Bro. Bro. I knew the clerk would just win this. Oh my gosh. A 17 minute game! That's the longest game I've ever seen. 17 minutes. Oh my gosh. They were so desperate for that 4K. Jeez. I mean, they were doing what they needed to do, but still. <laughs> it's so crazy, man. Alrighty, after that very long match, we're gonna have a fast-paced match with Nightwatch at the forefront. We've got forward Melly. Embalmer and Acrobat. So, gonna be an interesting game for sure. We could potentially see forward stun into Entomologist Bees to gain a ton of distance for whoever is kiting. That would be really, really fun to see. Um, this is honestly gonna be an exciting game, for sure. Minus the Embalmer. <laughs> embalmer sets up the coffin near the hotel area, which makes sense. Forward is near the center, as he should be. Uh, the question is, who takes the kite? Is it gonna be the forward? I don't know. Melly's chilling nearby. Uh, where? Who's gonna be the first to actually running? Oh, no detention Nightwatch once again. Oh my gosh, I've been seeing no detention Nightwatch uh, a decent amount recently. I do not have the confidence to uh, run detention because I love me some teleport detention free hit or free kill. <laughs> uh, I shouldn't say free, but you know, unless there's harassers, it's a free kill basically. Uh, but. Yeah, having to having no detention is uh, definitely a huge double-edged sword because you have a lot of resources to work with, like the double trait, the insolence to get your fast win quicker, but then you lack the end game pressure. Uh, okay, we're gonna see wind walk wind and hits bees number one, pull back bees. Uh, she did indeed pull back bees successfully. Good work. Oh, no confined space though. Bees, 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 bees. We're chilling with the bees. We got blink. Uh, he might just blink for fast win here. Will he blink for fast win? Nope, slows her down. Nah, no blink needed. No blink needed. Runs into him. Okay, beautiful. Call back bees after a hit. Nope, call back bees. There we go, beautiful. And blinks past the bees, yep. Blinks past the bees. Uh, probably just gonna hit her bees here. Nope, opting not to hit the bees. Okay. Well, uh, I guess she's gonna get chaired here. Poor Melly. It's always gotta be Melly, bro. It's always gotta be Melly. Ford is nearby. Ford is indeed posted up. Probably pushes the bees away. Did he he just hit her bees! Melly, you should have moved your bees away! Now you lost bees to rebound with. Nah, she should have moved those bees far away for uh I mean I guess if the bees were still nearby, she could have um she, Oh, actually I thought Ford got hit there. Uh still gets hit. Probably that was actually a useless football. I don't think he needed football there at all, because he still got hit. Because he had strong wind. All right, well, there's the tide. Uh, Melly is indeed playing around this window. Uh, oh, the forward stun canceling the, the Night Watch's vault. He has no wind uh, wind walks here. Almost a full presence, though. Once he has full presence, that's when Night Watch starts getting very, very dangerous here. Um, no wind. Oh, accidentally, uh, accidentally dashes into a freaking box. 
All right, this kite is not too bad. They've got some Cypher's progress uh, spread out. Melly still has a good amount of the bees. And, okay, calls back the bees. Smart, smart. Strong wind. Oh, look, yo, get stuck on a freaking, the tiniest little geometry, dude. The tiniest little geometry. Can she make it to this window? Yes, she can. She can indeed make it. Melly has no more bees, though. No more bees for poor Melly. She's just going to go down. And, oh, can't make it to the corner in time. That's a dead Melly. That is unfortunately a dead Melly. And they're probably just going to sell Melly. I, I usually, whenever I see Mellies that have uh, that have no more bees, most of the time uh, people just choose to sell her, which is sad. Yeah. If only, if only she could have gotten bombed there. That would have been nice because I guess it could have forced him to trump card teleport. Okay, Ford used the football to avoid death. We see that Mike is actually going for the rescue here. But the issue is Melly doesn't have much to rebound with. She has no bees. Gets pulled back. Hits the acrobat, forces him to go around, and then he can just uh, kill Melly here. Not gonna body block at all? She's just dead. Why wouldn't you body block there? I don't understand. If you could body block there, Melly could have had a chance to get away. She had an Eadric Reflex. As long as she got to a pallet or a window, she could have got some distance. I don't know why Acrobat just didn't sacrifice himself there. Kind of weird. Uh, this is actually looking pretty good for the Night Watch. The Cyphers, every Cypher has been touched though. Every Cypher, uh, and one is at 81, so one is almost done. I'm not sure which one that is, though. Uh, they unfortunately cannot heal up. Nightwatch has got plenty of wind. He's got blink up, too. So in case any of them want to do any, like, cheeky strategies, he can just blink them. We see that the Embalmer is here. It, it would be, it's going to be really it'd be really good to get rid of this uh, coffin before endgame. Because uh, once they have endgame, uh, the survivors will have, like, you know, the extra speed, borrow time, all that good stuff. Actually, just going to go down here. Not even going to, like, use any power to drop or anything. Didn't even force out his blink. That actually just sucked. <laughs> that that actually just sucked. Um, I mean, I guess, yeah, he's being forced to chair. He's 100% gonna coffin here, right? You better coffin. You better coffin. Yeah, there you go. Yes, you better coffin, dude. Nobody can rescue safely. Uh, yeah, what? What even happens here? Nobody's on a cypher. Where's forward? Oh, forward's being chased now. Okay, never mind. He's got a pallet. He has fast vaulting. Yup, but he has blink. Do you just blink? No? Blink here, blink here. Not gonna, why? Not gonna blink. Uh, I mean, I guess he, I don't know. Why are you saving your blink? If you get the forward down, then you force somebody to come in, right? He has fast, just blink him. Why is he not, does he really want to save it for, I don't understand. They finished the cypher, they only have one at 60. I don't know why he just didn't blink down the forward. I mean, he wouldn't have a trait for a potential endgame situation, but, like, everybody seems too scared to even be on a Cypher. 70% until it's primed. He's gonna go down, yup. Still has his blink. Maybe he just doesn't want to let him know that he has trump card or something? I don't really know, actually. I don't know really what's happening here. I thought you just trump card, uh, or sorry, just, just blink, uh, then trump card. Then you have a 100 second cooldown until teleport, and then you're, then you're fine. But now he has to deal with this freaking forward still. And now, 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 he now he just teleports to the last cypher. Okay, sure. He downs the embalmer. I'm so confused. He's going to chair the embalmer. Embalmer is going to need to get rescued. He doesn't go to basin, right? He's going to basin. Okay. Um, well, they can't rescue embalmer. They just sell and work on the cypher, right? He's got full windwalk, so he can dash to it if, if needed. But... Wait, no, it's gonna be ready. He's going to the Cypher, but he can't also get a free rest. He can't let them have a free rescue either. I think they, I think they just sell and pop. If you ask me, I think they just sell pop. But like he feeds tinnitus and then they just pop. And then they just, then they just uh, try and get dungeon. Cause dungeon is here. Just pop, just pop. Yup, just pop. Yup, and he has no detention. They know this. They know this cause he had insolence. All right, Mike still has some bombs. Doesn't take a hit there. Has that need to reflect speed. Jumps over. Jumps over again. <laughs> and now he's jumping over. Oh my gosh, dude, this is just like me earlier. Dodges the wind, but nope. Still is gonna take a hit here. All right, can forward get the gate open and can he get to the dungeon in time? That's the big question here. Vaults on through. Has a wind walk. A bomb, 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 bomb. Bombs in. Gets hit. Dungeon opens and that's a tie. Oh baby. 
That was a tie, dude. What the heck? What was that? That was looking so in favor of the Night Watch, but then, then they just popped, and then he just didn't have the tension. That was that was because of detention. I just I I truly don't think Night Watch needs insolence. I say that, but Night Watch uh, is good with insolence, though. I don't know. I feel like just detention is so much better there. On to the last match we'll be watching. This is actually a round one Soul Weaver. They don't have Opera banned, and for some reason they decided to play Soul Weaver over Opera, which is really interesting. A round one Spider going up against Coordinator uh, Charles, First Officer, and a female dancer. We have double tied on this team with First Officer and Charles. Charles is actually not running uh, Borrowed Time. He in fact has Knee Jerk Reflex and Tide, which might be good for him here because he's actually uh, taking the kite. Oh. Nope, never mind. Gonna opt to uh, maybe just immediately clean up this box here. Yeah, immediately just gonna clean up these boxes here. Yeah, the, the thing about female dancers setting up the boxes under pallets is like so good because this wastes so much time at the beginning, and it just it just helps you cipher rush. That's all it does. It's, it literally just helps you cipher rush because the slow boxes, dude, they are so annoying. If you play hunter and you have to deal with a female dancer that has slow boxes and pallet drops. Oh, it's so annoying, dude. It really isn't that big of a problem when you get it down and then you can go clean up the boxes, but. Man, it can be really annoying when you have to do stuff like this, dude, I swear. Because then it's just like, oh, well, if I don't get this down, I just have to waste, like, you know, 10 seconds cleaning up these boxes, giving the characters free time to transition and decode. Um, yeah, so not not really looking too good here for the uh, the Violetta. Yep, another another slow box playing around here. She's got speed, but she can drop the pal. Oh, no, gonna hit, get, gotta get a hit here, yep. Gonna get the hit here, and now she's forced to transition out of Graveyard because there are lots of webs set up. So yeah, that, that area is just hazard area. There's lots of webs over there, uh, but there's also two slow boxes. So yeah, it's it's both good for the survivors and for the Weaver, but the Weaver will win in the end because she does indeed have the blink ready. Ops to just chase Charles again. Um, he still has jetpacks though. Can we see a jetpack? Jetpack, oh, hovers actually, really? Really? This early? I mean, I guess what you do here is you just, you, you're not feeding her any presents, right? Um, the thing is, there, there's both good and bad things to, or I guess good and good and bad reasons to use uh, your, like, really good resources right away. For example, Charles gets one hover per game. He can only go up in the air a single time per game. But, the good thing, the coordinator with the flare gun to give Charles more time to transition! Oh my gosh, she has this blink, but she has no opportunity to use it because he just keeps transitioning. That was beautiful! And now, it's gonna potentially be forced to switch targets again. Gonna opt to maybe head back to the graveyard area where there are slow boxes posted up, maybe? Maybe that's just chilling by the window. Nope, he's, she's back on Charles now. Uh, which is weird because even after all this kiting and support, they've only finished two ciphers. Here's the blink, nope. Here we go, hold on, he's zooming, he's zooming. Jetpack, 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 and now he has no more jetpacks. And she has web shot. No blink needed, though. No blink needed. Um, but now they can just take their sweet time uh, because they've got two ciphers done, lots lots of ciphers spread out, so it doesn't really feel like they're, uh, you know, at zero on all of them. They've transitioned a whole lot. I, just, I feel like they're maybe, like, a little bit over-transitioning. Um, in fact, you know what? This actually isn't too bad for the Soul Weaver. Because, oh my gosh. Dude, they have no resources. I mean, female dancer might go... No, she can't clean up her boxes because she dropped them under pallets. So yeah, they literally have no more resources. Char Charles has no more uh, jetpacks. They have, they have one watch, and that's on the first officer. That's all they have. And she still has her blink. She doesn't need it, though. Actually, I don't know why she's not hitting here. Did she want a Terror Shock? There was no reason. She only needed one more hit till full presence, right? Does she hit first officer? Yeah, she only needed one more. I don't... That was weird. I don't know why she did that. Um, opting to go after the first officer. She has blink. Might just blink down for... Nope. He used the... Dude! Uses the watch, but now they have no resources. They've got nothing. And they only have one person on a cypher. I mean, the good thing about when first officer uses his watch, he gets a decoding buff. Up to, I believe, like 14%, 7% for each watch used. They only need one more Cypher now. Um, 
I guess it doesn't matter though, because even though she's at full presence, and she still has trump card, and her blink, she doesn't use her blink at all, uh, they can just go rescue Charles again and finish the last cypher. This is actually gonna be a four person end game. Never mind. She's saving that trade for any, she hasn't had a time, she hasn't had a chance to use her trade at all. They're doubling up on the cypher, but then they can just rescue Charles. It doesn't matter, they, she, they, don't, they don't care if they get hit because Charles gets rescued. They're forcing them off the ciphers, but now they just gotta, oh. Opting to kill the first officer here? Double double web's gonna die here, yup. First officer go, f does indeed go down, but the thing is, it's his first chair. And as we know, first officer has a very long chair time. Uh, not even gonna chair on the cipher? Oh, basement. I see. I see. Honestly, I feel like they could have just popped there. Yup, see, yup. I, like, what did I say? To you? I told you, they literally could just pop there. Yup. Yeah, because if the thing is now they now she can trade swap, she can. Ah, oh, I mean, yeah, they, they they both go to the gate and then they can set, have two people nearby. Oh, the speed though, the speed. She's using up all her webs though. They, she does see some, this is I think this is just one one k right. She can teleport back to the chair. They're all spread out. They're just constantly rotating, 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 and it's kind of working for them. She sees the female dancer has the webs enough to, but the decoy and still goes down. Still indeed goes down. Um, wait, wait a minute. Is this just a tie? I think this is a this. They just this is a tie. No way. It's a tie. It's she didn't even use her trait the whole game. Basically, the game was already over when she used it. She didn't even use a trait. She was a traitless spider, and she got a tie somehow. All because the female dancer tried to rescue. That was interesting, that's for sure. I feel like if they had somebody on the gate already and then they popped, and they had somebody feeding some nice near the church area for that maybe a little would have been a little bit better. But they're all like in weird, awkward places where they were like halfway to the door, halfway to the church. That was definitely really awkward, but a lot of rotation in that game. And I guess it uh maybe bit them in the back right there at the ending. Still a good game though, still a good game. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed those matches as much as I did. Some of them were pretty long like that clerk match, but they're pretty fun to watch regardless. Either way, that's gonna be it for me everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye bye